Every day in the United States, more than 30 people die in drunk driving crashes. That means one life is lost every 45 minutes. And in the last two years, alcohol-impaired driving deaths have been going up more than 10 percent. In fact, last year, 1.5 million people were arrested for DUI. So what's going to curb this alarming trend? Possibly this story about a 10-year-old who lost it all. Take my hand, take my whole life too. Oh, for I can't help falling in love with you. November 11th, 2017, Kira's life changed forever. So we were in the car, we were all silent, and we were um, just driving and going to the airport, obviously, and to go home, and then it happened, and, and then I, and I look up, and then all I see is, like, it's all slow motion. I see dust and glass flying, and I, I just remember looking at everyone and I was, and all I was thinking, I was like, I was like, I love you, I love you, I love you. Um, Cause I didn't know what was gonna happen next. Officer Mark LaTulip stationed here in San Diego got the call from Texas authorities about his cousin, a teacher at Valley Center High School who had been in a horrific crash, and two of the four people had died. He quickly got on a flight. Walking into a room and seeing his, uh, the state that he was in, I, I, I instantly knew that suddenly this, this child was now going to be in my hands. Scotty died in that crash. His body survived gave Kira a chance to say goodbye, to say a proper goodbye to him, but uh, he, he died in that crash with, uh, with Jackson and, and Nancy. Kira's family was hit head on by a drunk driver who had crashed through a cable barrier along the freeway. The driver, 41-year-old Guy Brasted, had a blood alcohol level of .203, more than twice the legal limit. The crash happened at 3.30 in the afternoon. At the sentencing, Kira addressed the man who took her mom, her dad, and her 14-year-old brother, Jackson. Jackson and I did something I can never have with someone else. It kills me to know I'll never have that feeling to anyone else anymore. Now, to honor his family, Officer LaTulip, who became Kira's legal guardian, speaks at schools, military bases, and anyone who will listen about that choice to get behind a wheel and drive after you've been drinking. It's a socially accepted thing to go out and drink. It's a socially accepted thing to go and enjoy yourself. I'm not the person that's going to tell you not to go and, and enjoy yourself. I'm the person that's going to tell you that you, you must have a plan. All it takes is a plan. It's easier than ever. I don't know why people do it. I think they get too far into their evening. They lose track of their drinks and suddenly they think they can make it home and they tell them that. We tell ourselves that we can do things all the time that we shouldn't be doing. And it's all, again, it's a choice. It's the choices that we make. It's a crime of arrogance. Holidays are also proving to be deadly times on the road. You're looking at a list of the top 10 most deadly holidays to drive. Memorial Day is the deadliest with an average of 448 people dying on the road, followed by Labor Day in September with an average of 445 fatal crashes. Officer Latulip is hoping his family's story will help make you think about your choice.
the last couple of years have been so uh, just nonstop that it uh, I don't know if if you could say we've we've grieved really because we've all I've been doing is trying to keep uh, keep their little girl above water and, and not not fall too far into uh, despair and, and try to keep my own family from from coming off the hinges as well. DUI, one one guy took this all away. Just amazing people that were, that should still be here. I shouldn't even be telling the story. I shouldn't even be talking. I should have just the common uh, DUI speech about .08 and don't do it and have somebody else be talking, but no, it's me. That's okay. That's what I'll do, but I, I shouldn't be doing it. Now in California, if there's no injury caused by a drunk driver, fees and fines can reach almost $20,000 along with the loss of your license. Ginger Jeffries, KUSI News.